And those little breaks, by the way, we should mention, Doug, why it's going to be very important for us to attract some advertisers, some sponsors, some people who are going to support our show, which then supports people all over the world. Why is that going to be really important for us? And why do people need to make that step? Well, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's sustainability, you know, it, I mean, that's, that's important for anything and, and we want to get it out further, faster, harder. Um, you know, we're, we're setting things up to, to distribute the show on, on many, many platforms to make it available for people. So anybody who, who lines up with our message, it's, it's fairly straightforward to show sponsors what this means to them as far as as eyeballs and and that's really what they're interested in is bums and seats right so you know that come and talk to us and and we'll show you what's going on and how how many people are actually interested in this subject how many companies are interested in this subject how many teams are interested in this subject it's really quite overwhelming so look forward to talk to talking with you about that excellent thank you and also, uh, we're, we've kind of divided it up into three sections. We've been doing a little bit of our homework, Doug and I. And um, also, if there is a way for us to, because this is our first show on this uh, platform, to put our contact information up. So I'll leave that to Lewis or Jay to uh, be able to show your email, your website, my email, if people want to reach out to us. I don't know if we can do it in the chat ourselves or not, or if that's just for the feed. But anyway, uh, there's uh, three three opportunities here. Number one, advertising. So when Lewis comes up with that little brief break, we can showcase your products, your programs, your services. You can buy one episode or you could buy a bunch of episodes. Those are advertisers. Then we have our sponsors, people who want a more long-term relationship with us and want to just take the leap and invest in the show that way as a long-term investor sponsor and we're creative too like we're, oh, yeah. we're, we're totally open and creative yeah. and, and have got the flexibility we know exactly what we're doing with this with this tool yes. so have confidence that we know what we're doing we're taking it down the road and and there's some big events uh coming up that i don't have permission to talk about uh in, yes. in the fall in the summer and then uh next february which is very exciting laurie and i'll share more details on on the events that we're aligned with, which is just going to drive more traffic and help more people. And that's, that's the idea. And the third uh, plan is just write a check or e-transfer <laughs> to veterans house <laughs> and donate. And we thank you. I mean, we thank you. Thank you. Let's push it out there. Let's push it out there together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. So what else do we need to share today? I hope you're getting to know us a little better. Let's quote it back to you, Doug, and maybe just share a little bit about your, um, I don't know, your well, I, interview. I, I, or... The most important thing in my life, the most important thing in my life is is my family. So, so per, from a personal level, if you're listening, my wife and I celebrate our 37th wedding anniversary and she's been through a head-on collision, uh, me having a head-on collision on a motorcycle with a car, going through the stuff with the NHL and the injuries, the, the broken neck and spinal cord injury. Uh, she got me out of the rehab center when I couldn't walk and put me in a hospital bed at home because she was nursing our uh, three-week-old baby and, and we had a two-year-old. Um, you know, my wife, Patty, is just just carried the load and for, for so long. And, uh, you know, her story is fascinating as well, but comes from a completely different perspective. If you heard Patty's story about uh, talking about me, you wouldn't recognize it. If you just heard me tell the story, like oh, she was there to, she was there to protect me, different role, right? Different role. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally. Unlike Doug, I have been married uh, in my in my lifetime, about 50 years, but not just all to the same man. This is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, uh, you know, I lost my first husband to suicide. So when he oh, was yeah. 34, and that was the catalyst that really got me going about, because at that time, and he did, you know, he didn't use drugs, he didn't even drink. I mean, he wouldn't be your classic, I don't like to put people in a box. So I take that back. But uh, because suicide knows no boundaries, I learned that later. However, um, otherwise we would have been married 55 years in July. So, you know, I've spent most of my adult life married 
And then five years later, I met this wonderful guy in a bar. And I'm going to tell you girls, do not marry some high profile athlete that you meet in a bar. (laughs) (laughs) This guy had shoulders this wide and hips this. Anyway, it lasted 18 months because he liked his mom better than he liked me. And so I sent him home packing. And uh, then I met Ron Davis and we will be married, Doug, 30 years this month. Wow. So we dated for two years and then we got married. And Ron is like the salt of the earth, as they say. And um, I've kind of like, uh, I think getting the right guy for me was like building a house. You know, you have to build three before you get the one you want. <laughs> and on the third trip down the aisle, my dad said, if you mess this up, this is the third time. He said, I can't even give you away. If you mess this up, Ron can come and live with mom and I. So, <laughs> so that was a lot of recovery because uh, having that happen to Keith on the front end of my married life, um, uh, you know, I went in, I, I took a deep dive into denial and I was there for seven years and I told people who was killed in a car accident. I even lied about it. Really? So, because the shame that was attached and the stigma that was attached. Oh, and I was totally dysfunctional. So I understand some of these things because I lived it too. Like you, I didn't live a spinal cord injury, but I lived other injuries. Right. I was, so I, I was one right. of the biggest injuries that I had. It's funny. It wasn't physical uh, associated with the spinal cord injury. I was transferred from a hospital to the rehabilitation center when I couldn't walk. And when they were transferring me from the, from the gurney to the bed at the rehab center, they left my file on the bed. And on the top of the file, it said, Doug Smith, quadriplegic. And I saw it. (laughs) Holy. And and, and I went to the top at the hospital, too, uh, after I had recovered, because to to, to make sure that that would never happen again, because it set me back literally weeks. Because because I believe, like, when I saw it, I believe what I saw. Right? I was labeled. Yeah, for the first time. And that was months after the spinal cord injury. And it just, it, it, it just seeing that, oh. and, and doesn't that say something for how you treat other people and just be mindful of it. Right. Right. Cause you can't get away with anything. You, you literally cannot get away with anything. It will come back and bite you. doesn't matter. Be good. Mm-hmm. Well, we cannot unsee the things we've seen. And in some ways we cannot unhear the things we've heard about ourselves Yes. and people carry that forever because it becomes part of our belief system Mm -hmm. so never feeling good enough some of the things we've already mentioned well we have about four minutes is there anything we'd like to announce uh, beyond what we've done already well i I mean is is there anything that people can do right now like what what can you do this minute that you're listening to this um the one thing you can do and i've made it available is my my work uh, in the trauma code uh, has been turned into a series of meditations they have not been released yet okay so the meditations there's eight of them have not been released but what i'm doing is i'm making uh the first one available for people so if you have trouble sleeping if you're interested in just getting into a relaxed state because stress and relaxation can't 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 mix right when you take care of one you take care of the other so you can go to my website doug smith performance uh, dot com slash relax r e l a x that's doug smith performance.com slash relax and then you can download that and and hopefully that that'll give you a give you a bump in in energy and and rest and for now that's that's it like there's going to be a lot of other things available for people we're going to make sure that we're 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 getting you the goods the stuff that yes. you need to 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 move in the right direction it's not about getting 100% better it's about getting one or two percent, then mm-hmm. another one or two percent, then another one or two percent. That's how it worked to get to the NHL. And and then and I can show you that that's how it worked to recover after a, a traumatic physical injury. So wow. so so Good. both both ways. Beautiful. And um, also, too, just if you're interested in our recovery summit it's an online event Um, it's 25 dollars 
and yes. you can come, come for all three days and you can come in and listen to one speaker or you can come in for the whole three days and listen to every speaker and every speaker gives away a gift. Um, I mean, it's just so easy to access and reasonable. Oh. Yeah, and so I'm speaking. I'm speaking and I have the footage. Yes, yes well, I have I, I have some great yes. footage that I'm going to show people some hockey footage. So, yeah, go. there you go. Yeah. And uh, Doug is my co-host on this one because this is my gig. So but I invited <laughs> Doug to co-host because um, you know, because of our relationship here. And so if you've just stepped in and you want access to that event, you just email me, the Lori Davis show at gmail.com. And I'll make sure that you have a seat there. So please let us know. An absolute I'll honor, that. Lori. Thank you. It's oh, been it amazing. Was this fun. Is, it was and, fun. and I can't believe like, it's like, what, what time is it? It's amazing. It was fun. So we'll see you next week. Same time, same station, uh, the Disability Channel, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Mountain Time, 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time. And we have lots of friends in California that are going to be tuning in. So thank you so much, Jay and Lewis, for your support today. We really appreciate the opportunity. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.